This is Mark's Animal News Network, and I am your host, Mark McMorris, Jr. I would like to welcome you back once again, friends and followers. Thank you for joining us for another Animal News Network highlight. Man suing United States Postal Service over a decade-long dog hold that kept him from getting mail delivery. A Seattle man has launched a federal lawsuit against the post office over their refusal to deliver to his home for nearly a decade. Mail carriers reportedly found the dog, now dead, to be too threatening. Dogs are more expressive when you are looking at them. If your puppy seems really expressive when you are around, it's on purpose. A new study from the University of Portsmouth published in the journal Nature says that dogs are more physically emotive, meaning arousing an intense feeling. When a human is looking, Bronx man gets year in jail for slamming girlfriend's dog on floor so hard it lost its leg. Such inhumane actions warrant a jail sentence, said Bronx District Attorney Dorsal Clark. We will not tolerate cruelty to defenseless animals. The dog, which is now named Sally, is doing well with a new owner. According to an SAS PCA spokeswoman. Italian academic given sick pay for time off to care for ill dog. Animal rights advocates scored a considerable win abroad this week. In the court's final ruling, the judge agreed with the lawyer's case that her university should dole out sick pay for her time away from work while caring for her pet. Comfort dogs spend time with Las Vegas shooting victims. Local dogs from First Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in downtown Las Vegas were sent to hospitals where the victims of the shooting were taken. The church's website says their animal ministry comes from a verse in the Bible which says to bring comfort to those who mourn from Isaiah 61 2. The Lutheran Church charities have dogs stationed in 23 states including Massachusetts, Connecticut, and New Jersey. Amen for that church and their animal ministry. Friends and followers, Thank you for joining us, and I hope you will make Mark's Animal News Network a permanent part of your day. We ask you to please subscribe and leave your comments below. This is Mark's Animal News Network. I am Mark McMorris, Jr. Thank you, and God bless.